Hi guys, this is Raj Sudan and welcome back to a new tutorial. This tutorial is requested by one of my subscribers who wanted to know how to send emails with JavaScript. So if you don't know in the last video, we basically retrieved the data from Firebase and we added it to our website. So in this video, we're basically gonna get, whenever a user submits an information, we're gonna grab his email, his name, his message, and we're gonna transfer all of these queries and the messages to our email address. For example, if I wanted to t send all of this data into test at gmail.com, we're gonna do it, okay? So this video is basically uh, purely gonna be teaching you how to send uh, email to JavaScript. So let's get started. So uh, first of all, I wanna say if you're continuing in the last video, I would suggest you to do it because you're gonna learn on Firebase how to install all of that, how to retrieve data, how to push data, and now we're gonna just grab all of those data and send it to our email address, okay? So uh, before we get started, I wanted to say we need to do a couple of adjustments and we need to sort of, you know, do a couple of settings in our before we get started with this form. So the first thing that that's regarding our own HTML itself, uh, before we submit any data or before we submit any sort of any request to outside third party for example email gmail and all gmail.com we need to change a couple of stuff in the form okay so the form first of all needs to need to have a couple of attributes so let's uh, add it so in the form I need to send the method so the form is gonna submit we actually need to send it to post okay so the first thing that's the first thing that you need to do in the HTML and the second thing that we need to do in order to send emails with JavaScript we have a script link okay so that's actually the SMTP LIB if you have worked before you need to import this in Python or like you know any languages that you're basically working with so I've imported it it's uh, HTTP slash SMTP JS dot com slash version 3 and we're grabbing the smtp.js i leave this in the description or you can just google this and get the link okay and you also could get it in cdn.js and also okay so as far as html that's it and let's go jump into uh, app.js and before even we get i get started with the coding part i need to first of all specify one or two things before we get started okay so the first thing that i wanted to say uh, we need to we need to uh, let me just get it so let's say less secure apps all right guys so i'm here i have typed less secure apps so what we need to do if you want to send if you want to send any information to your gmail address or if you want to use you know connect to your gmail address to the javascript code or python code anything you need to you know ex do a couple of extra stuff to your gmail account so the first thing one way of doing it is less secure apps so if you turn on less secure apps okay so Go, you can run JavaScript code to automatically use your use your account to send emails and receive emails automatically. It, uh, so if you don't have this enabled, this is gonna block and you're not gonna get any information or you're not gonna get any information sent to you. Okay, so the next thing that I want to mention is that one thing is less secure apps or you can also create app passwords. Okay, so I've already searched here. So if you come and click on here, you can see app passwords, which I'll show you in a minute. So let's click on my other account. Let me sh quickly go and type the password. Okay, so I just needed to give you a brief introduction on this, uh, first of all. So I wouldn't suggest you to go with the Lesser Care app. So you can use app password. So what this does, it's just gonna generate you a simple password. So you can, uh, if, uh, for me, when I'm making a tutorial, I need to, I, I cannot show you the real password. So because of that, I can simply come here, select mail. That's gonna be the type of my application. And it's gonna be a Windows computer. And once I click on generate, it's just gonna provide me a simple, a simple password okay so I'm not gonna click generate now not right now but that password is really helpful when we do the functions in JavaScript and I'll show you how that works in a minute okay so let's get started with the JavaScript and I also want to say I have the link of this repository if you want to go and straight up get started so this should be very easy for you you can straight away go and you know clone this repository and get started okay so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to basically have a function here. The function's main job is to send the email. So when do we want to send the email? When this submit button is clicked, we need to send an email. And if you come here, you can see a function that we have running when we click on the submit button. So if you see, we are 
we grab the 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 class of this button and we had a click event a submit event sorry and we are running this submit form function so right here itself we can also run a um, a send email function so I'm gonna create a function here called send email so this this function would take some stuff it will take the name because we need to have the name and the email of the user to to be able to send it to our email address and we need to get the email and we also need to get the message okay so that's what we need and this function would only run when we click on the submit app all right so let me go here and quickly create the function so that functions main name as a tool is to send send email so let's say send email info okay send email info to our email so first of all we need to create a function so let's create function and let's call this send email and this has to be t this has to take a couple of couple of uh, a couple of data so it's going to be a name and next is going to be email so we need to grab all of this data to be able to send it as i told and we need to also be able to get the message so this function would take email message e e name email and message and now we we have to do a couple of stuff here okay so first of all you want to type uh, capital e and you want to say email okay and now you want to say dot send okay so this function which is already built in uh, SMTP we imported SMTP SMTP is actually going to recognize this and send the email to us okay so you will get a good understanding when we do it and also make sure you import the SMTP link before you import the app.js because first of all this has to render and then uh, app.js has to render okay that that's nice to keep in mind okay so the first thing that we have to specify is the host okay so let's go say host and the host here so let's make it like that so the host here is actually smtp.gmail.com so let's say smtp.gmail.com okay so basically gmail is gonna send all of this data to whatever whatever address we are specifying it to send so it needs to connect to that gmail server so that's the host and we want to specify the username and the username here is actually going to be my email address for example sender sender's email address from which email address do i need to send this email uh, email for example i need to send a parent email address so that email address could be test123gmail.com and what that does is that it's gonna that test one two three would grab all of this information and send it to any users in uh, any users Gmail account. For example, if it's mary.gmail.com uh, or john.gmail.com, they'll receive the message from test.gmail.com. So that's like the parent one where we are specifying it. So the username as far as that, I want to set this to my account. I have my Gmail account. So let's say rat2666.gmail.com. Okay. And we need to also set the password. So let's say password and let's set our password. And this is now basically we're passing the username. A username is the email and the password. So now the SMTP or the Gmail or the server or basically the function could automatically log into our account and do a couple of stuff. So it's gonna add some script into our Gmail account, automatically log in and do it. So that's what we specify the password. And now I just wanted to point out one thing, which is the app password. So let's let me bring it here. And if you see the app password, I've already created that when I sort of when I was testing this application. So what I want to do, let that be right there. For you, it should be pretty empty if you haven't worked like this. So make sure, as I told, it should be mail. It should be Windows computer, and you can click on generate. Okay, and it's gonna simply generate you a simple password, which I'm just gonna copy now okay and i'm just gonna put this inside this and you can have your password if you're not you know making a tutorial if no one is gonna see a code you can you know have your email address but i'm just gonna have it this way because anyone won't be able to connect to it okay all right so the next thing that i need to do is i need to I need to specify to whom i am gonna send this information so for me i just i'm just gonna receive it to my own email address itself now if you want to send it to your friend or if you want to send it probably when you're working in the form you need to send it to yourself itself so you can specify the same thing i need to send it to myself itself i mean which i mean my gmail uh, in my gmail account itself and now I also need to send it from my account as well. 
so if you're confused i will explain this in a minute so bear with me so first what we're gonna doing we are uh, establishing a host so we're connecting to the server then we are passing it rather than typing it we are passing it passing in our gmail account and also the password and then we are uh, com we are composing an email we are basically saying to rat666.gmail.com from rat666.gmail.com so basically the the important part here is this from so if you have created your account from scratch as i told you know using not scratch using your app passwords you need to specify uh, your gmail account which is basically your pa the passing gmail account because that's the gmail account that will be able to send it now you can have a couple of you can send multiple users okay so I'm just going to show you one demo here, just one simple user, and you can also, you can also send it to a couple of multiple users, and that 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 should be pretty fine, okay? So now uh, two can be different. Now this also can be here to Mary at gmail.com, but I don't have any email to show you, so Mary would be able to re receive. Anyone with this email would be able to receive, and the sender is this email, okay? So I hope you get that in mind. All right, so the next thing that I wanted to do, I need to create a subject. So let's say subject, okay? And now let's create a simple subject here. And the subject that I need to do, I need to get the get the name of the user and I need to create that with the subject, okay? So I'm gonna go with backticks, so it's under your escape button. And now I wanna get the name that I've been passed from the function. So let's get the name. And now what I need to do, I need to just, you know, type in sent you a message, okay? Okay, so if I just put Johnny at Gmail, uh, jo the name as Mary or Johnny, my email would have a subject of Johnny has sent you a message, okay? So Johnny sent you a message, okay? So that's how the subject would be. And the next, the next thing that we have to do is to construct a body, which is the last one. So let's say body and we need to go back ticks here because we also need to add some information here. So let's bit of format this, let's say name and this would take in the name. So let's use name and then I need to break, I need to, uh, I need the email and the message to go to the next line. So I can use HTML here so we can have a break here. And then we can have the email and this email will also catch the email which we are getting from our own function so let's say email and we also need to have another break here so you know it looks pretty nice and also we need to get the message okay and we also could say message oops it should be this one and we also need to catch our message message and throw it up here okay so as far as that goes that's it and now what we need to do we have to we we we'll, that's far as the object goes okay and now what we need to do once we once the message is actually sent we need to alert the user so basically once this email is sent you can run a run a sort of a promise to alert alert the user once the message is sent okay so not when the submit button clicks actually when the message is sent this could run so we're going to return a promise here so let's say dot then okay oops and let's get the message Okay, so when you can you can catch the email, you can catch the message. We'll just catch the message here. It doesn't matter. And now, once this is actually done, and when the message is actually submitted, we need to alert the user, saying the mail has been successfully sent. Okay, so let me just copy that here, and let's paste it. Okay, so it's gonna just alert the user saying the mail has been successfully sent. Uh, so what this does, it's just not gonna you know pop up once we click on the submit button once the email is sent it's gonna pop up okay so let's save this and now if you see if you make sure you also have called the function once we click on this submit form and we also pass an email message and just to double check we have imported all of this script okay so that's it and now, now let's take a look whether this is actually gonna work so what I'm gonna do let's go create let's go and grab up my gmail account okay so this is my gmail account i'm just gonna put it here okay so you can see here see what's gonna so these are basically i'm getting some alerts from google saying that the, the, the i've created some password or something like that you should also probably get that and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna submit a name and the name i'm just gonna submit let's say traversy media okay so it's a great youtuber so let's just put traversy media and the email is going to be rather than 666 at gmail.com and the message is going to be uh let's just say 
hi this is a test test message if you see this message please get I say it doesn't matter but you know get back to me okay and that's it so hi this is a test message and if you see and if you see this message please get back to me so let's click on submit and once I click on submit I need to get a get an alert once the the, the submit has worked once the submit is actually done so as far as now I really didn't receive any messages so let's see let's I also didn't receive an alert so let's go back to our code and see if you have any problems so the I guess the error is actually we have to make sure this is a capital E so as I, I, I told you guys before but I don't know how I changed it but this should be a capital E and when you are basically we're gonna send the email okay so let's get my gmail account and let's give it a try again so let's say I hope I have the all the information here so let's go grab it so because also this is connected to the part 2 video where we retrieve data from Firebase if you want to check it out and if you're interested then feel free to go and drop a message sorry you can drop a comment and you know watch it if you like it and let's also copy this you know whatever just dummy text quickly and let's pass it to the message and let's click on submit and now what we need to get we need to get an alert saying there we go mail has successfully sent and if you I'm gonna click OK and if you see the mail the, the alert actually came once the email was submitted not when we just click on submit okay that's really nice when you work with promises and if you see the my gmail account you can see a new mail which is Travis Media sent you a message and that's the title and if you see the name is Travis Media and the email is whatever the you email the user puts and then the message is hi this is a test message if you see this message please get back to me okay so this is really a fully functional fully functioning form now, if you want to implement this in a website you can straight away go and uh, pretty much pretty much implement this you can copy the code and paste it and you can change your name and the email and this would pretty much give you all the data whenever you use submit to your email account so you don't need to use any uh, backend or something this is pretty much easy if you want to just your main goal is to just you know uh, answer some questions whatever you use submit or some client work or something like that this should be pretty ideal okay so let's also you can also add some emojis here I also want to mention that okay so let's say for the name let's put a face mark here okay so just a users mark it doesn't matter so for the email also we can go with a users mark so I want to make sure that you, you know you can also have this email the emojis as well when you're sending messages and in the message you can sort of have like a mail here so okay so let's save it and let's try it again so let's go back to our main page and let's tra try submitting a new information so let's say uh let's say johnny johnny man or something like that let's say johnny johnny at gmail.com and let's say this is a message from johnny okay and now let's click on submit and we didn't still get a message but once we get that message we're gonna basically get an alert saying the message has sent so we're gonna click on ok and if you see johnny man sent you a message and if you see we also have the emojis here so i just wanted to mention you can also add emojis okay so that's it for the video now if you have any questions if you have any still you have any queries feel free to comment down below because i will use your comments to actually make the video so you can also learn uh stuff like that okay so thank you so much for watching if you haven't checked out my channel please be able to be sure to check it out and also one quick thing i also want to mention is that i have a uh let me just let me just show you i also have a patreon page so if you love my tutorials and if you want to learn more then please be sure and if you if you want to support me financially uh by means you can actually check out my my patreon page which has a two dollar tier okay so you basically get access to all of the patreon stuff then you also have the premium tire which you get access with one zoom call every week so four zoom call per month if you want to learn anything on a study or you know get some tips in freelancing or stuff like that and you also have the vip tier we have three classes per week so it's actually 12 classes per month it's going to be a two hour two hour long video you can learn whatever you want if you join my patreon 
Okay, now if you have any spare dollars to spend, I would suggest you to join it. But if you don't have, and if you don't want to support me financially, completely fine. You can leave a like in the video, you can subscribe, you can comment down below whatever your ideas, whatever new things you learned, and share with your friends and stuff like that, okay? I guess that's it for the video. I, want, I don't want to take too long. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.